Hello, my name is Skylar McCrary, and today we're going to be looking at IBM Maximo Visual Inspection Mobile and the complete setup guide all the way from installing the app up to conducting an inspection on your mobile device. So first things first, go over to the Apple App Store and download the IBM Maximo Visual Inspection app. Once you've got that installed, open it up. It's going to present you with some terms. To agree to, it will also prompt you for things like uh, camera access, that kind of thing. You can grant all of that. Say I already have an account. Let's give it a name for a device and then a location that this device is in. Let's just say my office. Scroll down here to scan QR code and what we're going to do is open the visual inspection app on our application suite open up services API key and then we're going to generate an API key we now have an API key and then we're going to click scan QR code on our phone and scan this QR code to automatically get us connected up to the server So from here, we can just click Save. Accept and agree to these terms. And our device is connected and ready to start creating an inspection. So let's click the plus icon in the top right corner. We're going to create a new inspection. Uh, this one, we're going to inspect connectors, electrical connectors. So I'll call it connectors. We're going to make a new project. So we click Project, Create New Project. Just give it whatever name you want. A model, we're going to be in collecting mode only because we don't have any pictures yet um, for a, a model. So we're going to start taking some in just a minute. A data set, we want to do a new data set. We'll give that a name. Um, trigger string for now we'll just do none. If you want to know more about trigger string uh, and, and the use of that, check out the auto capture video on the MBI Guy YouTube channel. So we're going to hit done. Uh, we now have an inspection on this device down at the bottom. So let's open that up. And we are ready to start collecting pictures to build a model. So for best results, you are going to want to you know, mount your phone in a place where it's taking a picture from the same uh, distance, same location every time. But for purposes of this demo, I'm just going to show you right here on my desk. We're going to click the capture button. So we're looking at a connector here. We can see it is fully seated and connected. I'm going to take a picture. So image collected. I'll take another one in a different angle. And let's take one that is disconnected. So I'm going to separate this a little here. So this one is now not properly seated. Do that. And one more disconnected. Okay. So we've collected uh, four pictures two disconnected, two connected. Um, normally you want to start with about 30 pictures, but for the sake of today's demonstration, I'm just going to show you what it's like with four, but you should uh, collect at least 30. Uh, even more is better. The more pictures, uh, the better quality your model is going to be, the higher accuracy. So all of the pictures that we took on the mobile device have been uploaded automatically to the MBI server. So let's go over to data sets and find the data set that we created. See right here, our DS connectors data set. Let's open that up. And you can see our four pictures. So what we want to do here is uh, start training this. So let's select all of them and then say label. So 
So now we just need to tell, start telling the computer, uh, you know, what it's looking at here. So this one's disconnected, as we can see. We're going to click Add Label over here. We're going to say disconnected is one label, and let's go ahead and add our connected as well. So these are the labels that we're we're going to use for this. Let's select disconnected, and then we just want to use the uh, square drawing tool here. And I'm going to say this is disconnected. And then we can just do Alt down arrow to move to the next picture. And this one's disconnected as well. I'll show the uh, polygon drawing tool. You can draw a little more accurately with this one. So another disconnected. If you mess up, you mark the wrong one, connect or disconnect. You can just go over here and you can remove the label that you put. And there's a bunch of great keyboard shortcuts here, but I'm going to do Alt down arrow again. And here's a connected one. So again, I'm going to use the polygon here. Say this one's connected. And then we just got one more. Oh, I said it wrong here. More connected. And connected. All right, so once we've labeled all the items in our data set, we come back to the data sets area, open up our data set, and we can see that the labels we applied are showing up on the individual images. Again, you want to do this with at least 30 images. The more images, the better for uh, higher accuracy. But from here, we can just hit train model. Then we have training types. Uh, you can read a little bit of a description about each of these but we're going to go with object detection for this type and we're going to do this optimization type you can read about each of these and there's more information online uh, about uh, each of these different types so i'm just going to hit train model and our model begins training it gets queued up on the server and starts training and it utilizes uh, a gpu for that so once we've started training the model, it'll do some pre-processing, and then it'll give us an estimated time to completion on, on building the model. So we wait for this to complete, and then when we come back, we just download this model to our phone, and we can start conducting an inspection. All right, so now that our model has finished training, we can go back into the IBM Visual Inspection mobile application, open up the inspection we made, and now we want to hit Edit in the top right corner, and what we're going to do is just change our model from collecting mode, which we did earlier when we took pictures, to the new model that we just built. And we hit done. And you can see it's actually downloading the model right now. It's downloaded. And then we can instantly began snapping pictures of items for inspection. So as I mentioned throughout, we just took four pictures on that model. So it's not a good model. It doesn't have enough images to be highly accurate. So I'm going to show you on uh, another model that's already trained with a large data set, what's, what it's going to look like whenever you actually start conducting an inspection. So click capture, and we're going to be inspecting this connector to see if it's connected or not. This one is connected. It snaps a picture. And it's 98.9% .9 sure that this one is connected. Open it up. And this one is 99.73% sure that it's disconnected. 
I'll quickly show you what the auto capture looks like. That can be set up so that you don't have to manually snap the pictures, but it, it's capturing a, a continuous feed of images and then detects when one comes into frame and inspects. I'll start the auto capture here. So it's waiting for a connector to come in. Here's our disconnected connector. It recognizes it and then determines that it's disconnected. Again, the auto capture can be set up. We have another video that shows how to do all of that. I'll show one that's connected. And there you have it. That is the full Maximo Visual Inspection mobile setup from start to finish. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you next time.